What's up YouTube? This is Yemi here again from Swing Trade FX. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Fibonacci. The Fibonacci is a very, very important tool to anyone who must aspire to be a successful trader. Yet I see a lot of traders struggle with understanding this tool and how to use it effectively in real time for trading. In this video, I'm going to be walking you guys through from the basic to the advanced knowledge of how to understand this tool and how to utilize it in real time for trading so that you can leverage on this tool and become consistently profitable with it. So let's go. So guys, without wasting much time, let's get into it. Um, the Fibonacci is a very important tool in the Forex market. Reason being that the market moves in different swing and swings and swing and swing, right? Now, as a trader, it's in our own interest to know when the market moves, for example, on a bullish move and it retraces back before the next phase of move, it is going to be in our best interest to have an idea of when the price is going to reject. And consecutively, as because the market moves in different swings and waves, we should have an idea of when we anticipate that the market is going to retrace. And this is why it is essential for everyone, for everyone, as far as you're aspiring to be a successful trader, to understand how the Fibonacci work. So most people limit the work of the Fibonacci to just retracement to retracement tools, but this tool is far way more valuable more than that. And this is what I'm going to be showing you guys today with live examples and how to apply them in real life for trading. So first, let's break down the overview of the Fibonacci. So the Fibonacci is basically used by most traders to measure retracement point and extension point. So the first thing I'm going to say is, let's look at the Fibonacci in terms of, let's classify the Fibonacci into the, its different uses, right? So basically, we, we've got like two things that we use the Fibonacci for. The very first one, the very first one is actually as a retracement tool. As a retracement tool. Then we have the second one, which is as an extension tool. Now, basically, how does this apply in real time trading as a retracement tool, right? First of all, we use this to define or to figure out entry. So we could say obtain trade entry. So that's the first thing that comes to mind. Number one, right? That comes to mind. Another thing aside from that that we use it to do is we use it to obtain take profit. I know a lot of you guys might be wondering how come I'm going to show you guys as we proceed. And I want you guys to watch this video from the beginning to the end so you guys can understand and use this in your personal trading. So as an extension tool, primarily, what does it do? Basically, for taking profit. Or let me say, let me call it and target as for measuring profit targets. All right. So this is everything that the Fibonacci is all about. It's really pretty simple tool to understand, but very important and vital for every trader's success in trading so without wasting much time after we're done with all of this right now i'm not going to take you guys to its application all right i'm going to take you guys to uh its application application of the fibonacci in real time trading 
And then this is where we're going to be talking about some other things that we can use the Fibonacci, some other tools that we can use the Fibonacci with. So um, let me say, let me just put it. So this is going to be an overview of our teaching tools where you can use the Fibonacci weight for high probability trading. All right. So we've got like this right here. So we're going to break it down. The first one, so I'm going to use an abbreviation B plus support on persistence. Right? We've got this. All right. We have another one, which is the fee. Plus the trend line, right? So these are these are the different tools in our forex analysis that we can use with the feed that could give us a high probability trade opportunity. And the last one is actually feed plus support and resistance. Plus, the trend line gives a very beautiful higher confirmation or high probability confirmation. So now, without wasting more time, let's get back and let's take it a step at a time. So let's start with the FIB as a retracement tool and introduction to the FIB as a whole. So let's go. Most of our job is going to be on the live chat. So let's go on to the live chat. Let me bring out the FIB. So I use the M24 app, and this is what my FIB looks like. So as you can see, the FIB is actually made up of different levels, right? We have the 100.0 level, we have the zero level, right? Depending on how you want to draw it, and depending on the case you're applying it to. So we have the 23.6 retracement level, we have the 38.2 retracement level, we have the 50.0 retracement level, and we have the 61.8 retracement level. Out of all this level, all of this level are really good, but out of all this level, the best level after a, after a price move and is finding a retracement, the best level to apply the Fibonacci is actually between the 50 and the 60.0 so that you can find your continuation provided that the old direction of the trend of the market in this case is the uptrend. And I'm going to be showing you guys with real chat. So being introduced to the Fibonacci, this is what the Fibonacci looks like on the M24. Maybe on the TradingView app, you could have another, you know, outlook. But I use the M24 basically for my analysis. So let's get straight into it. So because I made mention earlier that the market moves, I made mention earlier, sorry. I made mention earlier that the market moves in swing and waves, swing and wave. So how do we know when the market might be done? And this is where the FIB comes in, where you bring your FIB up from this low to this point, you kind of have an idea of area of reversal where the market might be reversing. And you keep doing the same thing over. You bring up your FIB again, you keep you doing the same thing over and over and over and over. So this is the idea of the Fibonacci. When you move this from this point to this point, this gives you another idea of where this market might be moving. So if you have an idea of where the market is going to be turning around to continue a particular trend, it gives you a big leverage as a trader to say, you know what? I'm going to wait for the market right here. And if I wait for my entry confirmation and it gives me that confirmation, I'm just going to enter my trade and I'm just going to keep buying in the case of a buy and this is also applicable for the case of a sell as well so this is what it means when we use the fibonacci as when we use the fibonacci as what a retracement tools so what does it mean so let me make it more clear right so say the market is moving on a uptrend, trend right and it has made the first 
push and it has made a second uh, continuation. Usually when the market is retracing, it gives us a decline in momentum and it keeps giving us a decline in momentum. And that is where the FIB actually comes in. This is where the FIB actually comes in, where the FIB does its job. So what is this FIB helping us um, do right here? What the FIB helps us to do right here is to determine an area where the market might be rejecting to so that we can continue to buy the continuation to the upside. So this is how to use the Fibonacci as a retracement tool. So before we go further so that I can be breaking down in chunks, let me show you example of areas where we've used the Fibonacci as a retracement tool. So let's go. So I'm going to be making use of the GBP, um, JPY, because as anyone who knows and is in my free Telegram channel, if you're not in the free Telegram channel, you're going to see the link in the description, or I'm going to pin it to the comment section so that you can join. But anyone who is familiar with my Telegram community knows that I trade only the GJ. So every example I'm going to be using is going to be on the GJ. So now let's look at something really interesting that the market did, right? The market did. So let's look at it this way. So we are the situation, right? Here, when the market was actually rejecting from the stop right here on the four hour stand frame. And we had our counter trend line right at the spot got broken. And when our counter trend line got broken, as you can see, we had a situation right here when the market broke this previous support right here, which you can see right here, previous support right here, got broken right at this point and it's retesting right at that point. So what is the point I'm trying to make right here? So we know that overall that the market is actually going. So instead uh, psychologically we are looking at a situation where the market might actually be coming to this downside right but mind you we had a situation on the four hours time frame where we had like a where we had like a trend line off of this point so one thing we decided was that if we can find price to give us a retracement then we might actually be selling down to this trend line area okay so what do we have now this is where we now bring out our fibonacci right to kind of give us an understanding of where the market might be reversing so what do we do we bring out our fibonacci tool from the swing eye right you place your fibonacci from the swing eye put it on the swing low you kind of have an understanding of the area where the market is going to reverse. In this case, you can see the previous area of support now around the turning to resistance around the system of the Fibonacci area. So this gives us an indication that at a moment from this point right here, the market might reverse. And what did the market did? The market exactly reversed after it broke our counter trend line. And you can see I will sold the trade from this point right here to this point. So this is a case of the Fibonacci acting as a very strong retracement tool. So if I want to exemplify this further, we can actually all agree that when the market fell to this point, you can see the market retracing with higher highs, higher low, higher high, higher low until price got to the stone point fib level. And you can see broke would give us a lower high and price continue to move the downside. So this is how simple it could get using the Fibonacci. Okay, this is how simple it could get using your Fibonacci. So I believe that you can go into the market and look for areas where the market might be moving and moving and moving on a particular trend. And you can be able to understand that when you bring out your Fibonacci, that it's very, very easy for you to be able to identify areas where a counter trend or a retracement can be done. All you have to do is simple. Put your Fibonacci on the swing eye, draw it down to the swing low in the case of a buy and uh, of a sell. And in the case of a buy, look at this, for example, put, the swing, uh, put it on the swing low and bring it to the swing eye. 
what happened right here what happened was very simple it's the same thing over and over right if i bring out this trend line back here again you can see right here that the the that the market hit the trend line and not just the trend line alone let me take all of this off you can see right here that after this market um give me a second yeah very good so you can see right here that after the price eats this trend line you can see right here the price actually respected the area of the 61.8 right and the moment it closed back on it and it gave us a change of structure right at this point this was very 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 good for a buy and you can see how the market went back to the next zone which if we we're bought to we could have made some very good profit as well so this is how to do it in the case of a sell of a buy put it on the swing low and draw it up to the swing eye right here and that is just all about it on the, using the fibonacci as a retracement tool so now let's look at the second thing so apparently let's go back to our whiteboard and take it as we proceed right so we've actually covered the fact that we can use the fibonacci as a retracement tool and now we've actually exemplified that we can actually use the fibonacci as a retracement tool to find in trade entry how can we use it to find a take profit so let's go back to the chart let's go back to the chart so you can actually use the fibonacci in a, in two different ways right so let's say for example right let's get back to the four hours time frame real quick and let me look for a trade set of for example so let's say a minute to taking a trade right from this level um i mean you guys understand how i do my trend line already if you don't understand you can watch the video on the trend line uh i've added it to the card up there you can see it right there and watch it right after now and i said this is the validation phase this is the fourth touch, which is another entry opportunity. So let's focus on this one right here. So now let's say I'm having a potential trade opportunity right on this level, right? And I'm actually looking to buy, right? So let's get back to the one hour time frame. I'm looking to buy this trade, right? First of all, I'm looking at this previous area of support, right? To buy this trade to this level. From this level if i got in an entry so let's zoom it out bigger so that we can actually see what exactly we're doing so now all i'm looking for is a trade entry opportunity right here and what did i do i waited for the break of the structure right here i waited for the retest and the moment price closed back into this point on this candle i got into the trade on my buy trade now how do i know where to take my profit you can actually use the same Fibonacci level by drawing the trade, uh, the the Fibonacci from the swing guy to the swing low, and say, you know what? If price hits my sixty one point eight right at this point, right, I'm gonna get out of the trade because if price hit the sixty one point eight, it can decide to keep falling, and I just didn't want to enter a trade where I'm already in profit and price wants to move against me. So you can actually use the 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 fibonacci as a retracement tool in an inverted way right in the opposite way to take profit instead of looking for retracement so let's say when the price got to this point you took your profit hold up a second hold up a second so let's say when the price got to this point you took your profit now as at the time when price gets to this point you might have been looking at this point as a previous era support and turn resistance and what are you going to do again you're looking forward to short if there's a change of structure so now let's look if there's a change of structure right here so let me draw my counter trend line right so counter trend line we saw the break and we've got our entry somewhere around the spot right that means the fibonacci is doing two things at the same time number one is helping us take profit on our running trades to, to, to the buy and it's helping us finding an entry at the same time to sell right down now this is not the interesting thing let me show you guys the interesting thing about this right and a lot of traders do not know this actually so after i've gotten in on my trade i took my fibonacci off what am i going to do again i brought out my fibonacci from this point to this point 
Now look how the Fibonacci F does the find entry. And now look how this Fibonacci is telling me the point to exit. If I want to go by my Fibonacci, I'm going to be selling right to this point, this 61.8 level, rather than selling right to this trend line level. So for me, I would have gotten an early exit right at this point, knowing fully well that this level might actually lead to price, you know, make a push, a push to the upside. So the point is you want to get out at the safest spot. So this is an example, a beautiful life example of how to use the Fibonacci to your advantage, either to find an entry on a trade or to find an exit on a trade. Beautiful and perfect. So let's take it off and let's go back to the whiteboard. So on the whiteboard, we've actually exemplified um, what it means for us to use the Fibonacci retracement tool to obtain take profit. So now let's focus on the Fibonacci as an extension tool. So let's get back to the live chat. And this is going to be interesting. At the same time, we're going to show how we use it to measure, you know, profit target. So let's go back to the live chat. Now, this is the beautiful part that I love about the Fibonacci in using it to take in profit. This is really, really the beautiful part of it, right? So let's look at something, for example. I remember that I took um, some trades, right, at this point. Uh, let me show you real quick. And I'm going to reference this trade back, right? So this was a trade I took with my free community about a week or oh, two weeks ago to the point where I'm re recording this right now. So let me show you guys something really interesting, right? I gave the group, you know, this exit point to get out. But let me show you guys how I use the Fibonacci tool to my advantage to even make much, more, much more deeper profit on the same move. So let me bring back the setup, right? So I had a setup like this on the four hours time frame which is the previous area of resistance turned into support, right? And I had a situation where, you know, I had my trend line right here. My trend line was just respected right at this point. Um, let me fix my trend line properly. Yeah, I had my trend line was respecting, you know, right at this point. So what did I do? I figured out that I, I can actually find an entry right at this point i gave the entry right to people in my vip signal and people of the free channel as well and we decided i said the exit should be taken right at this level right for people people make one ratio four you know very good trade and people who join on the free channel also make money as well, or made money as well but now I decided that I wanted to make more, right? So when the market was here at the point, now look at this very interesting stuff. Where is the next level, right? To the left side, where's the next level where we think the market might be going to? Definitely, we're looking at this level right here, this level of previous area of support right here on this level. So I said, well, the market might be moving more than my anticipated take profit. And what did I do? I brought out my Fibonacci because I understand how to use the Fibonacci to my advantage to finding trade exit. I brought out my uh, Fibonacci from this level to this level, right? And I used it in a different way, right? And my target for exit was going to be from this point right here to this point right here. So let me use something more concise that's going to show it more. So I took my trade right here. Rather than exiting here, I was able to ride it to the 161.8 extension. Now, let's look at how many pips more that I made. I was supposed to make about 177 to 180. I finally made about 350. I remember pips, right? So that means I made almost two times what I should have made if I had not known or have an understanding of the Fibonacci. So the point, the question now is how do we use the Fibonacci as an extension tool? So let me show you guys real quick. So usually we talked about the fact that when we want to trade the market and market is retracing and giving us a push just like this, right? That we bring out our Fibonacci tool from the swing low to the swing high and it's going to give us an idea of when we're going to enter the next phase of a buy. So provided we find a buy confirmation right at this level, so let me take this out. 
Let me take this out. So provided that we find a buy confirmation right at this level, let me take these ones out real quick so that we can have clarity on what we're doing. Let me take all of this out real quick. So provided we find a buy on this level, what does what does that have to do? So let me make this with system 1.8, right? So we've got in our system 1.8 level right here, which I've indicated with the uh, horizontal line, right? So how do we measure our exit in a case where we want to maximize our take profit? Usually, we will say our exit is going to be right at this point, right? At the next high. But for me, I want to maximize this trade and manage my trade effectively. So you bring out the Fibonacci again, the same Fibonacci that you used in finding your entry right here. You bring out that same Fibonacci again, and you, you draw it from the swing eye to the new retracement level. So what does it give us? Now, it gives us a new point. It gives us a new point of exit, uh, of exit right? Which is going to be right on the spot, right? So when you take the Fibonacci off, you now get two levels. Number one level is going to be right here to exit, which is the next high. Number two level is the 161.8. When I bring back the Fibonacci, you're, when I bring back the Fibonacci, you're going to see that that's exactly the 161.8 level. So what does this mean? That means when you want to use the Fibonacci as an extension tool, the first thing you do is make sure that the market has started to move in the direction of the trend what does it mean look at it right the moment we found our entry right at the spot you can see the spotlight the moment we found our entry right on the spot we knew the next phase of buy was going to come in so what do we do we brought out the fibonacci from the swing eye which is right at this point to the swing low right in such a way that when price breaks this system 1.8 it's moving to the next one system 1.8 so one system 1.8 fib level is usually the target that we always wait for for us to be able to exit on a fibonacci extension so let me make it clearer more and let me bring some perspective into all of this so that you can understand now so let me visit back the setup i told you guys that we took on that pair so when you look at this setup right here you're going to see that we have a previous area of resistance stone support right here and i brought up my trend line you know somewhere around this point so let's now look at it right first of all i know that this is going to be a previous area of resistance right turn support right which intersects with the fourth touch of the trend line right here so we have a first touch hold up we have a first touch right here second touch right here third touch broke but respected back at this point then we have a fourth touch right there so I know there was going to be a potential buy trade scenario right at this spot, right? So what had happened right at the spot? I got into my trade as per my entry confirmation. If you want to know our trade, you can join the free telegram again. You can see the link in the description, right? So that you can be able to learn not, uh, gain knowledge for free. So now that I got in right on this level, I got in somewhere around this after this candlestick close right here. So what happened next? The initial target was going to be this point. So what had happened? The first thing that happened was I have figured out a confirmation that this trend would continue to the upside right at this point. And I've gotten my confirmation that, yes, we're good for what a bullish move right now. So after I've gotten that first, I found an entry. What did I do? I brought out my Fibonacci from the swing eye to the new swing low that the price was forming at the time. And I mapped out my 161.8 level. I mapped out my 161.8 level right here. And I said, this is going to be my area of peak profit. So when the market was right at this point right here, when the market was around my take profit one right here, what did I do? I moved my stop loss behind this last eye and I waited to see what the market is going to do. What did the market do? It broke it higher. And as the markets continue to move, I keep managing my trade. And that is how I got double of what I was supposed to make. So I've shown you guys and I've simplified it to you guys on how to use the Fibonacci app as an extension tool to take profit. And there are so many more examples in the market. Let me show you one example more before we actually um, um, call it, um, before we actually call it a class on this one and we'll move to the next one. 
So um, let's look at some trades, some trades, some trades. Um, let's look at some trades. So um, let's look at some trades. Right. So let's get back to the four hours time frame. So I can remember uh, I shared a signal with my free um, community some weeks ago. And we said if we could find an entry right at this point, after the market, you know, gave us uh after the market gave us a bullish uh push right at this point, right? So this is this was gonna be our touch one, touch two, touch three, uh, touch four, and we I remember I saw to this point and this was our touch five. So I was ready for a bullish move right on this level because overall the market is still was still on an uptrend at that point. So on my one hour time frame, what did I do? I figured out an entry using the same Fibonacci, right? I brought out my Fibonacci. The moment price respect this trend line right here and it respected back on this candle close above this level, figure out an entry, you know, go into um, the straight right at this point, right? So the moment I figure out the, the entry, I kind of mapped it out and I used my horizontal line to actually get that done, right? So now that I have it all done, the moment price starts to move to the upside, if I brought out your inverted, which is, uh, you, if you used your Fibonacci in an inverted manner, right? You could have actually figured out that this was gonna be the next level, which is gonna be the 161.8 level, okay? So what did happen? If you were swinging this trade, you would have actually left this trade. And what did the price did? The price first, the price first moved on a buy, came back to test the trend line, which you might not have broken even. I'm talking of if you want to go for the actual swing, this may not be applicable for day traders or short-term traders. Price would have tested back and moved directly to your take profit. And what kind of risk reward do you get right here? You're risking just about 64 pips to make about 349 pips, which is insane, which is insane risk reward. So this is the beauty of understanding the Fibonacci as a tool for taking profit or an extension tool. So before we finish, let's get to the whiteboard and let's make sure that we're following uh, what we outlined. So we've covered the Fibonacci as an extension tool. Remember I said first, when you are very sure that the market is continuing the trend you bring out your fibonacci from now the new high and that low is going to give you the value of the 161.8 extension point you set your tp right there and you manage your trade effectively sometimes it might price might not get there but as far as the trend is strong i'm telling you this as far as the trend is strong and the trend has confirmed that it's it's already making a continuation Trust me, the 161.8 level, uh, level is definitely going to be hit. So the best thing is for you to find an entry, be sure that the trend has continued and just measure your 161 point using the FIB as an extension tool and set your take profit right there and forget about the trade. So we actually say that. So I'm, I've actually shown you application of Fibonacci in real-time forex trading. So the next thing I want us to touch up on is tools that we can use the Fibonacci with. So the first one is FIB plus support and resistance, right? So I spoke about the support and resistance in my previous video. If you've not watched it, you can go back to watching it. I'm gonna attach the link above right now and you can see it right now so that you can use it. So in the market, your goal is for you to be able to find confluences upon confluences that gives you high probability trades, right? For me, I go for quality trades. I don't jump on every trade. And that's why I focus on one pair, which is the GJ. And I just focus on the quality trades right there. So let's go to the live chat and let's talk about how to use the Fibonacci tool to obtain, how to use the Fibonacci tool with the support and resistance to obtain a key. To obtain a high probability trade so let's go to the four hours time frame on the four hours time frame i'm still going to use the same example of i said we're well, going to come back today so this was the trade i talked about right so i want it as an example because this is the closest to a live example i can use for you guys as you guys can see the setup i gave it free to the free telegram group and let me show you guys the psychology behind this trade and how 
the FIB was relevant with other two to find a very strong high probability trade. So let's go back to the chart. So this chart, I remember after I've done my multi time frame analysis, right, which I've actually showed you guys as well. Check the video on the multi time frame analysis, which was the last video I uploaded. You can watch it to have an understanding of how to break down the market. The link is added above right now, as you guys can see it. So now I figured out the price was making a previous area of resistance right here. Turning it into, you can see the first break right here, and price was turning it into a support, right? So now, what did I do? I brought out my Fibonacci from the last slope right here to right here. So what does it tell me? Now, this tells me the price is actually not only on the previous area of resistance, but also on the Fibonacci level. And this was where I came to my one hour time frame. And I, I waited to see what price was going to do if it was going to give me reversal, my reversal confirmation right here. And price gave me that reversal confirmation right here. And I got in on my trade after that strong bullish engulfing candlestick that confirmed the break of the structure. And I was able to take this trade to the upside. Simple. So you can see how I've used the Fibonacci with the support and resistance to find me a higher time a uh, uh, higher probability trade from this point that's it very simple so let's go back to the whiteboard and look for other tools that we can combine that we can combine um the fibonacci weight let's look at the trend line the fib and trend line then later we'll look at the combination of both of them which is support and resistance of uh, trend line and the fib i mean the three of them so let's look at the FIB and trend line. I'm still going to use the same example here because as you can see, we had like a trend line right here. We had like a trend line right here before the trade moved. So let's get back to that same setup on the line chart. So this was the setup right here. As you can see, I had my FIB level already. So what did I do? I brought out my trend line right here, which is the first touch, second touch. As you guys know, um, the trend line video, you know, you can go back and watch it again to understand. You know how I draw my trend line? We have the first touch, we have the establishment phase, and we have the validation phase, which is a break, but a respected back right here, which makes this trend line uh, uh, valid. And you can see the fourth time right here, valid. So what do I have? I have this Fibonacci area. When I bring out my Fibonacci point right here, Uh, when I bring out my Fibonacci point right here from this point to this point, it's intersecting with the third, with the fourth touch of my trend line. So what does this mean? This means that this le this area right here is a high level of reversal and I'm finding my trade opportunity. And what did I do? I used this knowledge of my understanding my feed in relative with my trend line and I actually used it to find myself a high probability area where the market might be continuing the trend and i just opted on it it's that simple okay the last one i want us to see right here let's get back to the whiteboard is using the uh fee with the support and resistance and trend line i'm still going to make reference back to that same you know setup and you can look for many setup as much as possible i could look for the setup in fact after this example i'm going to find another example where you can use it so now in this case now look at how many confluences i saw on this trade right and let me let me make it like this right so number one support uh, resistance level turn into support level this is the first confirmation so let me use this as grain okay because this was the point where i got into my trade so this was the first confirmation off of the trade. The second confirmation of the trade was what? Now you can see I'm putting the resistance turn support level in consideration as one of my confluence and one of my key confirmation to finding an entry. The second one was the Fibonacci level, which is right here. The Fibonacci level, which is right here that I've drawn out right now. The third one right here is this trend line, touch one, touch two, like I said, the fake, and you know entered and you can see the fourth touch right here which is this area i'm using as spotlight so in this case we have this resistance turn support 
as number one factor. We have the fourth touch of the trend line as the second factor. We have the Fibonacci point as our third factor. Man, what does that tell us about this level? It tells us this level is a very strong level of reversal and price do not have a choice than to continue the trend right here. But regardless, I still waited for my entry confirmation, which was the break of that structure I told you about. And you can see how this trade went up and I was able to manage it effectively. So this is how the trade. You don't really need much information. All you need are just the simple tools that have been offered to you. You don't need, you don't need indicators. You don't need all of this. Just understand how this works and I promise you, you're gonna be consistently profitable. Before I end this class, let me show you guys another example out of how you can use, you know, the 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 the, the Fibonacci, uh, the Fibonacci as a tool actually as a tool as well, with the trend line, with the 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 support and resistance. I made I made reference to this particular setup right here, so that we have a previous area resistance turn support right. If you bring out your Fibonacci also from the swing high to the swing low. What does this tell you? It tells you that we have a very strong area right here. Let me bring it right back, right? And the last thing is when you bring out your trend line right from this point right here, you can see that the trend line also respected, making this spot right here to be a very strong area of reversal. So all you have to do is to wait for your other confirmation, which one of my confirmation is waiting for counter trend line. And when I found that counter trend line, what do you think happened? When I found a counter trend line right here, what do you think happened, right? I got into my trade. It's that simple, right? So the first thing is what? The previous area support on resistance. The second thing is touch one, touch two, a field touch, a price come back right here. The fourth thing is the Fibonacci level, making this level a strong level of interest for me where I could find price continuing this trend that it found a retracement in and I got into my trade. So you guys can see clearly for yourself that this is very, very applicable in forex trading and you really do not need much actually. You really do not need much actually to make easy money off the market, right? All you need at the end of the day is for you to be able to understand, is for you to be able to understand and how these tools work and how you can use them how these tools work and how you can use them in your favor in the first market. So I hold you to keep it simple. You don't need indicators. Just understand, have a basic understanding. These things work with principle. All you got to do is sit back, focus on one pair and focus on this quality and use all these tools and explore these tools. And thank God, man, you've got a free information for free right here that I'm giving you guys on YouTube. Stick to it in practice and practice. Don't just watch this video. Go over your charts, your different choice, uh, a pair of choice. Look at it over and over. You're going to see that there's so many of them in the market. So I hope you guys have learned a thing or two in this video. I want you guys to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoy this content. And also, like I said, you can see the link to my free Telegram channel on the link in the description. I offer mentorship program to struggling traders. And I also offer a uh, one on one session to people who want to have me one on one teach them. If you enjoy what I do on YouTube, you can imagine much more when you spend time with me, when we look at the market together, when I take you from the basic to the advanced and show you how to trade like a proper trader from risk management to technical analysis to setting your stop loss and managing your trade and all of that. I have it all in the package of the one on one mentorship program. I also offer a signal service. Uh, which I do monthly basis and I offer account management service as well. So if you're interested in any of my services, you know, join my free Telegram channel. You can see my contact from my Telegram channel. You can hit me up directly. Let me help you level up your trading. Thank you guys so much and have a wonderful rest of the week. Bye.